My deal or no deal, says the Prime Minister, with six months to go until the UK leaves the European Union. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at six. The Prime Minister has told the BBC that MPs will have a choice between her proposed deal with the EU or no deal at all. The comments made to the Panorama programme have prompted her critics to say she's risking a car crash if she sticks to her policy. The UK is set to leave the EU on the 29th of March 2019 and negotiations between the two sides are still taking place. The Prime Minister has insisted that it's the government's job to make a success of Brexit, even if there is no deal. Our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, reports. While the International Monetary Fund says that if Britain leaves the EU without a deal, it would inflict substantial costs on the UK economy. The IMF's managing director, Christine Lagarde, said that all Brexit outcomes would entail costs, but that a disorderly departure would lead to a reduction in the size of the UK economy. Our economics editor, Kamal Ahmed, has the story. Our political editor, Laura Koonsberg, is in Westminster in Downing Street for us. So six months to go this week until Brexit, until we leave the EU. What is the... Laura, thank you. The MP Tobias Elwood has told the inquest into the victims of the Westminster Bridge attack how he fought to save the life of PC Keith Palmer, who had been stabbed outside Parliament. The officer and four other people who were run over by Khalid Massoud on the bridge died after the attack in March last year. Our Home Affairs correspondent Daniel Sanford reports from... The Grenfell Inquiry has been hearing harrowing details from emergency service call operators who were working on the night of the fire, including one woman who spoke to a resident for around 40 minutes before she died on one of the top floors. In the Philippines, hopes are fading of finding survivors buried by a landslide that has killed at least 32 people in a mining town. The gold miners and their families had taken shelter from Typhoon Mankut in a temporary shelter on the side of a steep mountain. More than 65 people are thought to have died across the Philippines following the typhoon. Our correspondent Jonathan Head is there and sent this report. <music> Nearly a quarter of the UK population is living in poverty. That means people who simply don't have enough money to meet day-to-day -day costs after paying out the essentials. At the moment, poverty is measured by levels of household income. But now an independent commission is calling for a new way to assess it, which includes factors such as childcare or the impact of living with a disability. More than 14 million people are living in poverty in the UK. Of those, almost 8 million people are stuck in persistent poverty. The new calculation shows that almost 7 million people living in poverty are families with a disabled person. Our social affairs correspondent Alison Holt reports now from Scarborough. A man from North Devon has been sentenced to three years in prison after police found a highly explosive fertilizer bomb under his bed. Metal pipe bombs and other weapons were also discovered at the flat in a village near Barnstable, as well as a notebook in which he expressed a hatred of black and gay people. Our correspondent JK, John Kay reports. And finally, with six months to go until the UK leaves the European Union, we'll be answering some of the most common questions about Brexit all this week. Today, our deputy political editor, John Pienaar, has been looking at the impact that Brexit could have on immigration. And we'll have more key Brexit questions coming up through the week, including what it could mean for the Union and whether we'll be richer or poorer after we leave. Right now, though, we have the weather with Darren Bett and a sort of late return of summer. Is it going to last? Yeah, for some of us, it certainly was. A few days. Uh... So from the BBC News at 6, it's goodbye from me on BBC One. We join the BBC News teams where you are. Bye-bye.